So I've previously done a video on how to download SketchUp 2016. Well, it's 2017. There's a new version of SketchUp available. Let's go ahead and download it. You can do it out of your version of SketchUp 2016 if you have one. But if it's a fresh download, come over here to the SketchUp site, www.sketchup.com. And right here on the front button, it says Download SketchUp. Go ahead, click. It starts with information about you're about to download. They want to know what product you're going to do. We're going to be using SketchUp for educational use. And we're going to be using SketchUp Make. Now this is free for students. SketchUp Pro is a paid product, so we're going to be choosing at some stage to use SketchUp Make. We've got your educational use. You need to enter your email, use your school email. You can decide whether or not you want SketchUp news and tips. Enter your name, your school name. You're going to need to click on this and tell them that you're a student. You need to choose whether it is Windows or Mac. Uh, mine is Windows. You need to choose your product. This is SketchUp Make. You're going to have to agree to the license agreement. Go ahead and read it, but you won't be able to hit the download unless you do. And hit download. Obviously, I still need to put in some information above. As you do, go put the information on hit download SketchUp and I'll recommence the video once we're there. So this screen pops up and says thank you for downloading SketchUp Make. It gives you the option to buy SketchUp Pro which we're not going to do. I've also already had something, a pop-up window ask me where I want to save the download file. It tells me that it is installing on my screen. So step one, double click on the X exe installer file is probably in your downloads folder. In fact you can see it in the bottom left hand corner of that part of my browser it's there. Um, you may have chosen to put it somewhere else as I do but you need to know where it is or you can run it from this point here. Step 2. Follow the installer instructions. Yes you can do it. We'll show you. And step 3. Find the SketchUp icon on your de desktop. Scroll down further. Do you need some help? Download problems or installation problems? You shouldn't have any problems. Beginner, start learning SketchUp. That's a good idea as well but I've got links on my website and you'll be able to get the same place. So right now we're just going to wait for the download to finish and I'm going to run the SketchUp install file and record it as I do. So SketchUp has finished downloading. You're going to have to run it from wherever your download file has been saved to. Because I'm using Chrome however, sitting in the bottom left hand corner is this file SketchUp Make EXE. All I have to do is double click and that should run the file. I had to let Windows 10 make changes, let SketchUp make changes, but this little window pops up says the installer is running and when that is complete it will take me through the procedure to do so. Now I'm not sure if this is something to do specifically with Windows or with SketchUp 2017 or whether it's something to do with my installation of Windows 10. But I'm told that I need to install some extra libraries. Do I wish to install the components? It says if you choose setup cancel or cancel setup or exit. Obviously it needs them. I'm going to hit install. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. This seems to take a while. Finally, preparing it to install, but still taking a while. There we go, the setup window. Welcome to SketchUp Make 2017 64 bit setup wizard. Fantastic. Let's hit next. It's going to ask me where I want to install it. My standard place in Windows Computers, Programs Files, SketchUp, SketchUp 2017. Great that it puts it in 2017, it means I can have a couple of versions of SketchUp on my computer at the same time. I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to hit next. So it says click install to begin the installation. It's ready to go. I'm going to hit install and I'm going to pause while it does its job. Right, so it's done. Installation complete. Tells me so. Click on finish. Step 3 says find the SketchUp icon on your desktop. So I'm going to minimize my browser. And what I find is that it's actually added three um, icons onto my desktop. The only one that's really of interest to me is this one here. It says SketchUp 2017. The other two we don't really need. Now I'm going to go fire up SketchUp 2017. I'm going to check whether anything has significant has changed from when I used it last. But if not, then what I'm going to be doing is, well, if not, go ahead, 
watch this video here the setting up SketchUp is the next one and the general template is the one after that and if it has changed then I'll have to create another video to go with it so have a look out watch on my YouTube videos see if a new one appears for 2017 if not the ones for 2016 will should do just fine go ahead have a play see you there